Hi, and welcome to the Living in a Prius YouTube channel. Today I'm continuing my series about places that you can car camp. Now, if you're not familiar with car camping, there's an increasing number of people who are using their car as a free hotel room so that they can travel more. There's also a number of people like me who actually live in their car, so they sleep in their car every night. Now, one of the most difficult things about car camping or living in your car is figuring out a good, safe location where you can sleep each night. And today I want to talk about cemeteries. I know that seems strange and a little bit spooky, but I've found that cemeteries, especially in really large cities, is a great option when you're looking for a location to park and sleep at night. The first cemetery that I ever slept at was this cemetery in New York City. In fact, every time I've stayed in New York City, mostly in the Brooklyn area, I've always slept at cemeteries because they're one of the few places within a big city where the street parking around the cemetery usually doesn't have any parking restrictions. Another example of a cemetery where I've slept at is in Portland, Maine, and that's what you see here on the screen. I did a video not only on my uh, stay at the cemetery in New York, but also my stay here at the cemetery in Portland. And so you can check my playlist in the description section below to find these videos. But this just gives you an example. I'm parked on a side street next to the cemetery. And the great thing about this is that there were no parking restrictions on this street. And on one side, I had the cemetery, and on the other side was a residential neighborhood. So it was a very quiet, secluded area to stay at night. And so it's great when you want to have a place to sleep in your car at night because you're traveling or living in your car. Here's my setup, again, in another video that I have of my sleeping area inside my car. So let me show you how you can find a cemetery when you're visiting an area. So we just go to Google, and let's use Portland, Maine as our example here. So we'll just type in... Portland, Maine Cemetery. And then when the results come up, we'll just click the Maps option in Google. And this brings up all of the cemeteries in the area around Portland. So here's Portland down here, but you can see it extends on up and shows you uh, surrounding areas. But we want to zoom in on this Portland area. So here we see Portland, and this eastern cemetery is where I've stayed before when I'm in the Portland area. So let's zoom into there and take a look here at this cemetery. In fact, let's put it on the satellite view so you can more easily see what it's like. So again, this is a good example of a cemetery in an urban area. And this is an old cemetery. It says established in 1668. So there's no drive-through roads through the cemetery. And by the way, I would personally recommend against sleeping inside a cemetery if there are roads through the cemetery mostly because it's private property and i never recommend people stay on private property as a place to sleep overnight unless it's an emergency or you get permission from the property owner but these cemeteries are great because they're usually surrounded by roads all the way around the cemetery in this case it's residential on two of the four sides and so if we go to the street view here uh, this is the area where i stayed at right here uh, at the corner of the cemetery. So in that previous video, you saw my car was parked right at about here. And you can see that on the other side of the street is all residential. So this is a really quiet, secluded road. Doesn't get much traffic at night. Great place to sleep. Uh, but the key thing is when you're trying to look at these cemeteries and see if it's a place that you can stay, is you need to look at the signs. Like I've talked about in many previous videos, when you're trying to find a place to sleep at night, whether it's a truck stop, or a side street, it's all about the signs and what the signs say you can and can't do. And we can see a sign up here, and so let's go take a look at that one. So this is some type of a parking sign, and when we zoom in, what we can see is that the only thing this sign says, I don't know how clear it is on your screen, so I'll read it to you. It says, no parking on this side of the street on the second and fourth Tuesday of the month. So the only thing that this sign is there for is to tell people that that those are the days of the month when the street sweepers come through and clean the streets. So that has nothing that there's no restrictions along the street about what times of day you can park uh, or anything else. So this is a great place uh, to be able to park 
uh, and there's just a lot of parking all the way along the perimeter of this so it kind of meets all of our requirements whether we're car camping or living in a car number one it's legally we're legally able to park in the area and number two there's a lot of parking available and then kind of thirdly and lastly it's just a quiet relatively safe place to sleep because it's not in a high traffic area and there's other things around like houses so you're not in the middle of a big vacant parking lot or something else so i consider this a great option for where to park and spend the night when you're traveling and car camping or if you're living in your car so i just wanted to post a really quick video with another idea about where you can sleep in your car at night if you're car camping or living in your car and i would heavily recommend that before you car camp or sleep in your car at night you come up with a safety plan. You can watch my other videos. All of my videos are organized into playlists, which are in the description section below. And some of those videos show you how to create a stealth approach to car camping so people can't see you in your car at night and ways that you can make your car a more safe environment uh, to travel in and sleep in or live in if you live in your car like me. So hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.